Hello and welcome back to the next part of the P51K from Eddard. But first, if you haven't done so already, please like the video and if you could, and possibly subscribe to the channel and click on the old bell button to get future videos. Awesome. Anyway, undercarriage first and yeah, it is a multi-part affair. Um, you get your uh, top part of the uh, undercarriage bay and it is a question of making sure you look at the instructions, Lenny, yes, and you can't go wrong. Um, the parts are extremely thin and sort of like flexible, but incredibly detailed as well. Okay, so when you actually go into the actual main build of it, which we will very shortly, it is really worth the effort. It really is. Okay, so let's get building. Although it looks like I'm dipping my wick in the ink um, quite a lot, um, am I using a lot of glue? Uh, no, I'm not. Um, it's precisely the reason why um, I'm doing it this way, uh, as well as you'll see when we actually do the main sort of like uh, the wings and then onto the fuselage. It's tiny, tiny amounts of glue uh, all over, okay? You don't want to over glue this. Uh, Basically because, one, well, you're going to get glue all over the place. However, when it comes down to the painting stage, uh, everything is practically going to be either aluminium, uh, steel, or some kind of metal colour. Now, if you get um, a glue seepage, especially in the undercarriage section, which we're doing here, it is going to be neon impossible to get rid of the actual glue marks um, unless... You have a fiberglass sort of like pencil type tool uh, to actually get into any of the nooks and crannies. But that is not going to do you any good if the actual glue bubbles up when you press the parts together. So just bear in mind, um, if you really want a, a good finish, it's a case of minimal amounts of glue um, and tiny, tiny bits a lot of the time. Anyway, right. Now what I'm doing is, is putting these sections in, all these partitions, uh, into the actual wheel bay itself. What you can do is you can slot them in, because you can see those, those lines there, and they just simply slot in. Again, um, look at the instructions. And what I tend to do is, is do one side at a time, take the parts off and lay them out on my cutting mat, the way that they will be going in. So sounds a bit obvious or captain obvious, but it does save a lot of time and sort of like you just sitting there thinking, oh shit, is that one right? Is that one good? Oh. Yeah, it just saves a lot of time. But again, like I said, tiny, tiny amounts of glue and that's it. That's all you need to do. It fits in and it is quite nice. So, fitting everything into the lower wing section, um, it is pretty self-explanatory and straightforward. And I do give you um, some really nice sort of like uh, sections um, where you just marry up the part into the actual wing or the lower wing. And it's a simple case of just simply gluing it and waiting for it to dry. There are a few things to put in uh, before you put the top wings on. Uh, these are the navigation lights. Um, 
I've just bunged them in and glued them. Um, they're going to be painted from the outside anyway, um, which is the relevant, relevant colours. I think it's blue, yellow and red, I think. Don't quote me, don't have a go at me. But anyway, uh, and yeah, there are other things to go into the actual uh, parts themselves. You do have these blanking plates that go over the uh, ammunition or spent ammunition ports uh, on the lower wing. And also you do have uh, a sort of like a, what can we call it, a bottom floor section, um, which you do need to paint. Yeah. Did you paint yours, Lenny? Thank you, Molly. No, I didn't. But hopefully the instrument panel and the rudder pedals will cover that mistake. Bucker. So, glue in the upper wings, I'm really not going to waste that much time showing you. Um, but it's a question of just using, again, minimal glue because um, you want minimal cleanup. And really, um, yeah, because it's going to be a bare metal finish. But they do fit really, really well. Bit of a squeeze, bit of a bang, bit of a blow, and you're absolutely fine. So, with everything dry, it's a question of fitting the actual... Uh, lower wings or the actual wings themselves shall I say to the actual main fuselage now below is absolutely fine however just watch where you actually place in the wings before you actually commit to glue I did find that I did have to slightly bend the wing or the port uh, sorry starboard side wing slightly and push the, the fuselage into the wing root to get a really flush fit. And once it's there, it's there. Because if you see, I've taken my hand away and it's going nowhere. Again, using minimal glue, I am just basically gluing everywhere that I need to, to secure the main wing to the fuselage. Now, once everything was dry, I did find a tiny gap at the leading edge of the starboard wing. Problem? No, not really. Um, all I did was, well, all I, all I am going to do is pop some black super glue from VMS, let that dry, let it all sink in, and just basically just give it a sort of a light sand over, and that really should be all you need. Again, remember, any details that are um, taken off, you are going to have to actually rescribe them. Um, so yeah, just be careful. Anyway, anywho, ooh, my throat's going. Um, yeah, vertical, so, uh, not vertical, uh, horizontal stabilizers are next. And basically, it, it's self-explanatory. You just glue the two halves together, bish bash bosh, and away you go. Oh look, that's the super glue and it's all dry. So all I need to do is just sand that off. Mm -hmm. Right, so speaking of horizontal stabilizers, all I did was just pop them in, sort of like nearly flush, tiny, tiny dab of glue, and just push them together. The fit is exceptional. You won't have to do anything um, to do with the join. It is very, very good. So with all them dry, it was a case of just popping the elevators on and yeah, I just simply just 
put them on. There's no glue. I don't have to do anything. It's just like a, a slot in fit. And, and yeah, why waste glue when you don't have to? So that's pretty much it for actually getting everything sort of like the, uh, what do you call it? The control surfaces, as it were. And all it is now is left is just sticking the small little bits um, actually onto it, as in you've got the, the rim uh, for the radiator, uh, the front part, um, very front of the fuselage, uh, which I'm putting on now. Just be careful because you might put the part down that hole and you'll probably never get it out again. So, yeah. But overall, you can just pop it in and it sort of like stays there on its own, like magic. Yeah. Don't ask me why. Maybe it's Yuri Geller. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. It is simple. Pop it in. Once it's glued, you can just like move it around if it's not 100% um, central. But yeah, it's good. But anyway, this one here was a little, little, little problematic. You just got to try and get it all squared away. But what you can do is, is just put a dab of glue on first, sight it, and just move it, and then you can re-glue it. That's the easiest thing I can say, or even suggest. So just the last couple of bits to put on. Um, this will be the, uh, I believe it's the radiator uh, flap thingy goes up and down thing. I can't remember what it's called now. It's been a long day. But anyway, you just slot it in and you can actually angle it um, whichever way you want. You can have it fully closed, part way, fully open, you name it. You can do basically what you want. So yeah, oh, my voice is going again. <clears throat> so. Basically, all I've got left to do now is those front little parts. Um, come on, Lenny. Keep in camera, son. There you go. Come on. Yeah, there you go, mate. Yeah, all you need to do is to pop those um, little rectangular things. Uh, you do get a couple of options, though. You can have them perforated or completely plain. Um, so, yeah, just check your references on the instructions, and you can't go wrong. Um, these these parts, my word, you just take whatever sprue gate is off, slot them in and give it a quick glue and that's it. So that's it. That's basically, well, the majority of the actual build itself. Of course, there's other things like undercarriage and all on other bits on Tondras. But really, Eddard, mm, what an awesome kit. It fits absolutely phenomenally. Lily, 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 lily. So yeah, go get one. Buy one now. <laughs>